Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. This is Nidhin here and guys today I have come up with a very amazing problem. It's a very tough problem and uh, you will enjoy it for sure. Guys, this video is uh, presented by Indian School of Physics and Unacademy. And uh, the name of this problem is dust particles inside a parabola. And uh, uh, there is a brief about my current courses. Those who are new for the video, they can uh, check. The current courses are on rotational mechanics, geometrical wave and wave optics and SHM. And the upcoming courses will be on modern physics, fluid mechanics, waves and thermodynamics. These are very rigorous courses for problem solving and deep theory, which normally you don't see in uh, uh, one single book or uh, even in most of the common books, it will not be available. So if somebody of uh, if someone wants to join me on Unacademy for live classes, you can use my code Nathan sir. So Unacademy is the largest uh, uh, platform currently and uh, you will have uh, like best set of pool presently here and uh, best theory courses and problem solving courses are available. You can prepare uh, for JE with faculty of your choice. These are some of the uh, points. You can uh, visit Unacademy website for more information. All right. So here is the statement of uh, this problem. A disc of radius R with the center at origin is rotating with a constant angular velocity of omega naught. The dust, dust particles are separating from the disc with the negligible radial velocity due to rotation of the disc and starts moving under uniform gravity of G. Find the expression y equal to f of x which act as an envelope of all projectile motion of uh, of projectile motion of all dust particles present on the periphery of disk that is all the dust particles stays inside y equal to f of x as shown in the diagram guys this is modification of uh, a problem you would have seen in your uh, uh, projectile motion classes so let's discuss this uh, problem here so concept wise, uh, you can see as the dust particle will separate from the disk, they will start moving along the tangent to the disk in uniform gravity and with the initial velocity it will have is r omega naught. And these different different paths as you can see here, uh, the particles at different locations will follow different parabolic path. Because in uniform gravity, if uh, initial velocity and acceleration due to gravity are not parallel, we are going to have a parabola. So we need to find out a uh, possibility of such a curve where all these parabolas are going to touch, but they will never cross. They, they can never cross the boundary of it. Whatever curve we are going to uh, derive. By the way, it will not go this side because omega we are taking uh, in clockwise sense. So all these particles will move in this side only. All right. So here, uh, what I'm going to do is I'll be analyzing uh, the motion of a particle, which is at some random location and that random location I'm choosing at some general theta here. So it will include uh, all the particles which are present on the periphery of this disk. Their motion we can analyze here. So initial velocity with which this uh, particle will leave the disk is going to be r omega or r omega naught at t equal to zero. Let's say its coordinate is uh, p, which is x comma y at any time t. So easily we can write here, if we analyze the motion along x, this distance is r sine theta, r sine theta and here it is x. So r sine theta plus x, that is motion along x axis. So speed remains constant here because acceleration along x is zero. So I can simply write v naught cos theta times t. V naught is r omega naught cos theta times t. So this is one equation we are going to have. Similarly, along y, if you write this height is y, uh, this height is y, and this is uh, r cos theta. So projectile motion wise, V naught sine theta minus half g t square. That is going to be uh, y minus this distance, which is r cos theta. So I hope it is clear to you. So I'm, if I arrange these uh, equations further, I'm going to get x and y value like this. x is equal to r omega cos theta t minus r sin theta and y plus half g t square is equal to r omega naught sin theta t plus r cos theta whole square. Theta is a random location. So I want to get rid of uh, this theta. 
so what i'm going to do is i'll just square and add these two equations so you will see here few terms are going to get cancelled and cos square theta plus sine square theta is going to become one so it is going to give us uh, here you can check i'm not explaining this mathematics part uh, from here you will get cos square theta term and from here sin square theta term that will become 1 and similarly r square sin square theta and r square cos square theta that is going to give you r square similarly that uh, 2ab part is going to get cancelled so when you simplify finally you are going to get x square plus y plus half gt square whole square that is equal to r square 1 plus omega naught square t square now when you further arrange this equation we are going to get a equation like this it's a four degree equation in t or you can call it as biquadratic equation or it's a quadratic equation in t square all right so g square t to the power four by four plus minus of omega naught square r square plus gy times uh, t square plus x square plus y square minus r square is equal to zero it's a biquadratic equation now if there exists a real value of t square if there exists a real value of t square means such time exist if such time exist we are going to find this particle we are going to find this particle reaching this particular point but suppose such time doesn't exist means this particle cannot reach here it cannot reach this much height all right so here i can say in this equation as you can see here i have written here this equation is a biquadratic equation in t if thus particles actually reach the point x comma y then time t will be real but if discriminant of this equation is negative then thus particles cannot reach point p a so if i apply this discriminant less than zero here so this is b square minus 4 a and c into c that is uh, negative further if i simplify y square term is is getting cancelled we are cancelling it here i'm not explaining the calculation again nice calculation will come so from here y term you can take uh, other side you take this y term this side and you will be getting y uh, is greater than omega square r square by 2g plus g by 2 omega naught square minus gx square by 2r square omega naught square so you are going to get that curve uh, where uh, this constant term is going to be omega naught uh, square r square by 2g plus g by uh, 2 omega naught square minus gx square by 2r square omega naught square all right so this is going to be the envelope or you can say all these parabolas which are uh, for the particle or dust particles leaving the periphery of the disk will be inside this parabola by the way this concept is also called as safety parabola or such type of question you would have seen uh, like a standard problem will be there if a particle is projected with v naught so all different different parabolas they will lie within a within another parabola and it equation was if you remember a standard form was v naught square by 2g right minus g x square by 2 v naught square somewhat similar to that so this is going to be the final answer for this uh, problem and uh, i hope you have enjoyed this by the way it is a parabola y is equal to some constant minus g x square and its axis is parallel to y axis it's a parabola opening downward so i hope guys you have enjoyed this uh, problem it's solution also it's a unique problem and if you have enjoyed this please leave a like share it with others and uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it i'll be coming up very soon with another amazing problem thanks for watching it